How to customize the MSP login page. Prerequisites. When creating an MSP, the system administrator has applied a domain name for the MSP. The MSP domain name has been set to abc.msp1.com. Function Description MSP pages can be customized so that MSPs can use their own UI pages. Application Scenarios MSPs want to use their own domain names for iMaster NC Campus Login and use their own UI pages. Procedure Step 1. The MSP Administrator creates a folder and customizes the UI. Customized logos and file directories are as follows. Customize the logo on the login page. Customize the logo of the browser window on the login page. Customize the logo of the browser window on the page after login. Customize the title of the browser window on the login page. Customize the default avatar of the MSP Administrator. Customize the logo on the top of the About page. Customize the logo on the Password Retrieval page. Customize the logo on the Password Change page displayed upon first login. Customize the copyright information on the login page. Customize the copyright information on the About page. Mask Smart Robot, the Huawei Technical Support website, and the Huawei App Store QR code. The MSP Administrator sends the files stored in the folder to the System Administrator. After receiving the files, the System Administrator scans the files to check whether the files are infected by viruses and verifies the file validity, such as the file name, file name extension, file size, and whether the file contains a cross-site scripting attack. After the verification is complete, the system administrator creates a package. Do not change the folder structure when creating a compressed package. Step 2. The system administrator logs into the active Nginx node as the SOP user user and uploads the created package to the required directory. Step 3. The system administrator logs into the active Nginx node as SOP user user, switches to the root user, and runs the following commands to move the abc.msp1.com.zip file to the following directory. Set the owner and owner group of the abc.msp1.com.zip file to the OSS user and SOP group, respectively. Step 4. The system administrator loads or updates MSP customized content. If the customized content of this MSP is created for the first time, run the following commands. If the MSP customized content needs to be updated, the system administrator needs to transfer the compressed package customized by the MSP administrator as a parameter. Step 5. The system administrator logs in to iMaster NC Campus, chooses System, System Management, Authentication from the main menu, chooses SSO Configuration, see SSO Configuration from the navigation pane, and clicks Create on the SSO Servers tab page. On the Displayed page, the system administrator sets IP address type to domain name and sets the domain name to be used by the specified MSP to log in to iMaster NCE Campus. 
Step 6. Modify the host's file on the local PC. Open the host file in the following directory. Add the following information to the end of the file. In single node deployment mode, 10.10.10.1 is the IP address of the service plane. In cluster deployment mode, 10.10.10.1 is the northbound floating IP address. Verifying the configuration. Check whether MSPs can use their own domain names for iMaster NC Campus login and use their own UI pages.